This was one take, this, um, what is on tape. We, um, went through the sections, because it's eight minutes, and, uh, somebody said something, I think, Bill Kerbishly, something like, don't you guys think this is, like, a little self-indulgent? And we're like, of course it is. Isn't that the whole point? I mean, why do you do a tribute record if it isn't indulgent? I mean, who... Who isn't indulging on this one? I mean, Robert's singing on his own bloody tribute record. Give me a break. That's vanity if I ever heard it. I got a phone call. And I was having a meeting. And I thought it was somebody from NBC calling me to interview me to see if I'm an idiot or not. And uh, I picked up the phone. I took it in the bathroom. I said, hello, David. And uh, way in the distance, this long distance voice goes, who the fuck do you think this is, Coverdale or something? He wanted to do Down by the Seaside. And uh, I started to hear a certain part in it that isn't in the original that I wanted to add, and he wanted to do it more like Riders on the Storm. Robert played guitar on this. Which is funny, because J Jimmy has made him swear he'll never play it again. Jimmy, as a piano player, was a huge influence to me, because I studied guitar players, not piano players, because I didn't want to steal. Um, but Robert, more on, like, a passion level, he was everything that my father was afraid of, what he represented. You know, he was the blonde Lucifer in a sense. Because Robert, there's a, he understands the goddess. He's one of the very few that understand. So after we did the whole take, it was the first time we did it and they just happened to grab it on tape, he said, you know, let's go in and listen and um, see where we need to go. And we sat and listened and he looks at me and said, well, I'm not working anymore. Let's have lunch. That's it. <laughs> and it was kind of like, uh, yeah, wasn't that what, what records were about? It was getting a moment on tape. Oh, when will 